welcome students today in this video we are going to solve the mcq type questions which has been asked in the question paper of switch gear and production in year 2022 so this will be definitely going to be helpful for students of west bengal state council of technical education and studying under the department of electrical engineering and also going to appear for this subject in this semester examination okay so without delaying we just go on to the questions so as you can see here the first question that has been asked is the fusing factor is always what we know so this is a ratio of the fusing current to the rated current of a fuse so all of us know that the fusing current that is the current at which the fuse wire melts and the rated current is practically the current which is steadily carried by the fuse under normal operating condition okay so definitely the fusing current is greater than the rated current as a result the ratio will always be greater than 1 so the fusing factor will always be more than 1 okay so option 2 here is the correct answer as you can see so the next question overheating of a transformer may be due to what overload short circuits failure of the cooling system all of the above as you know all the things that has been given here means the overload the current is above the normal rated value and flowing for certain amount of time short circuit is such a condition when abnormally the current has been increased to very high value okay and the failure of the cooling system means the system which is working for cooling down the temperature of the transformer okay so in any of the cases what will happen the temperature of the transformer will rise so all of the above will be our option here okay so option 4 here is our correct answer now the next question for protection against dielectric sorry direct lightning stroke we use what so for protection against lightning stroke we know that in transmission lines a overhead ground wire is used and also lightning arresters are used in the uh, power system for absorbing the lightnings basically not absorbing for bypassing the lightning surges to the earth okay so both of these things means the ground wire and the lightning arrester are used for the protection against lightning stroke so option 3 that is both 1 and 2 okay so this is our correct answer okay now the next question march price protection is employed for protection of what so you know march price protection is basically the differential protection scheme now this type of protection scheme is generally used in the transformer okay as well as the alternator uh, for protecting the transformer and alternators uh, due to their internal faults like uh, interturn short circuits maybe other kinds of short circuit or kind of arc faults okay so all of these type of protection for transformers and alternators are basically provided by the march price protection so here also the option 3 will be our correct answer means both 1 and 2 means march price protection is used for protecting the alternators and transformers next question the over voltage surges in power system may be caused by which of these following okay number 1 lightning number 2 switching number 3 resonance all of the above as you know lighting sorry that will be lightning this option is basically written wrongly this needs to be lightning okay as you can see switching is there resonance is there so definitely this this and this means all the three options are correct so all of the above will be our correct answer okay this needs to be lightning but it has been uh, written wrongly uh, basically is misspelled okay so option 3 here is our correct answer now the next question a thermal protection switch can protect against short circuit over speed overload over voltage okay you must know that a thermal protection switch 
can only keep protection against overload okay means when the current flowing is above the value of the rated current but not abnormally high and is equal to the short circuit current okay means it can give a protection for overload but not for short circuit or any other kind of protection so option 3 here will be our correct answer next question circuit breakers usually operate under transient state of short circuit current sub transient state of short circuit current the steady state of short circuit current none of these okay so you must know that circuit breakers are designed to operate within a very short amount of time from the occurrence of the fault when the current is in the transient state okay so transient state of short circuit current will be our correct answer okay a fuse is a protective device current limiting device current controlling device none of the above okay see fuse has not any kind of capability to control the current or to limit the current but it protects the device by melting itself so it is basically a protective device okay so option one here is our correct answer next question a circuit breaker is a current controlling device current interrupting device current limiting device none of the above again the same thing circuit breaker gives us protection okay it cannot control or cannot limit any kind of current it basically it basically opens up during faulty condition to isolate that segment from the faulty segment okay so it basically gives us protection or interrupt the flow of current to give us protection so circuit breaker is basically a interrupting device okay so option two here is the correct answer next question a circuit breaker performs the duty of the detection only both detection and circuit interruption circuit interruption none of the above as you know the detection of the fault is by which equipment the detection of fault is by relay circuit breaker cannot detect the fault okay so it basically interrupt thus the option 3 here is the correct answer means the circuit interruption okay but if the question was like that a circuit breaker along with a relay what functionality is being taken up then both detection and circuit interruption will be the correct answer okay next question an isolator designed to open a circuit under what condition full load condition normal condition no load condition none of the above okay as you all know that isolator basically operates under no load condition means when there is no current in the circuit okay so definitely the no load option means the option 3 is our correct answer okay the last question that is the last mcq that has been asked is backup protection is generally used for protection against what what is backup protection the backup protection is such kind of protection which is there in the power system if the primary protection was not able to do its job okay means there is a backup when the primary protection fails so whatever the primary protection can do the backup protection can also do all those things okay so both the open and short circuit faults will be the correct answer okay so option 3 here is our correct answer so i think the questions that we have discussed today are very much clear to you and very much understandable to you if you have any kind of question you can ask it in the comment section of the video and if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel also share it with your friends for their benefits thank you thanks for watching